another concept associated with debtors turnover ratio is average collection period it is also referred to as debt collection period as the name suggests this ratio or this figure actually gives us an indication about the time in which our debtors are being collected so students this can be written as or calculated as number of days in a year divided by or in case it is being calculated in months so number of months and we all know that it would be 12 12 in this case and 365 in this case for non leap years divided by debtors turnover ratio so students in order to calculate debt collection period first of all we need to do is calculate debtors turnover ratio then if we are required to calculate debt collection period in number of days then we will write 365 divided by debtors turnover ratio and in case we are required to calculate in months that would be 12 divided by debtors turnover ratio like in previous question we had calculated debtors turnover ratio as four times the debtors turnover ratio was four times so if you want to collect debt calculate debt collection period debt collection period would be Twelve. That is number of months divided by debtors turnover ratio. That is four. It would be three months. So students, it makes it very clear that the sales in the first month are collected within next three months. For example, the sales that you affected in January. By sale, I mean credit sales. Their amount would be collected by the month of or the end of March. or in the beginning of april on an average basis